prepare for the battle. Later, I will style it and add additional functionalities, but firstly, let's build the basics. Today, I was learning how to set up the Webpack, both Webpack and JSX. Both of these things are recommended while working with ReactJS. I would learn much more about SVG and D3 but still it was a nice introduction and simply right now I have to dig deeper into D3.js and start building stuff with it. The example that was presented during the meetup used for simulation. It was pretty attractive but in order to understand more you simply have to get your hands dirty with the code and start building. Sometimes the, all of these frameworks and libraries are too big. Uh, and and they are not the most effective solution. I'm learning a React in order to to be able to to wagon it, to be, build bigger apps and use it when needed. It's also the market that requires from you the frameworks. And right now I'm practicing even the small apps in it. But but the truth is that sometimes Vanilla JS would be the, the simplest and the best option, and it wouldn't wave so much. So. Uh, it's worth remembering while working with frameworks such as Angular or such as ReactJS. Let's get back to work and let's start testing.
that looks at the end of the week. It's fully responsive. On small screens, uh, horizontally, uh, the, the home screen looks a bit differently in order to boost uh, the usability. The home screen is uh, centered with uh, Flexbox, so uh, it's got a bit different layout than the rest of the screens. You can enter two users and compare them. You can start a battle or reselect players. Uh, let's start a battle. The loser is always uh, a bit grayed out, so I added the filter. As you see here, it's filter grayscale 100% and opacity is a bit lower than, uh, than one, so it's 07. In order to differentiate who's the winner, and you can start over the game. Whenever a user introduces the names that are incorrect, that are not present in uh, GitHub, they get a notification that warriors are misspelled and, and they come back to player one screen. So they are ready to introduce new players and start the battle. The users chose the wrong players. Um, they can reselect them. And start the battle. I built this graphic using FreePeak. And the whole idea for the app came from React training uh, that is linked here. I also prevented the user from, you know, clicking enter, going farther or clicking continue without providing the username uh, because it wouldn't make uh, any sense. When the players are the same, the result is of course a tie. So I still find it buggy to display it on Edge and Microsoft's uh, Internet Explorer. If anybody knows how to deal with it, what's the problem, I'm, you know, really open to the feedback uh, in order to introduce the changes. Maybe I'll find it on my own too, but so far I haven't. I started working on this app on Monday, on the 7th uh, of November, uh, and I started with setting up the webpack. Mm, later, a few comments later. I styled it a bit more, introduced all the functionalities, additional functionalities, and optimizations. You will also find this link in the video description below, so I will provide it for you if you uh, if you want to play with the app. The app is done, of course you can like, iterate over it. I want to give a big shout out for React Training. I will put the link to their page in the video description below. React Training consists of uh, much more courses. Uh, this one uh, that I was using GitHub uh, Battle is for free, so you can give it a try and later decide if you want to buy the rest of the courses or not. For me the big plus was that each step was introduced really uh, in details. So. Uh, even if there was something new, I didn't have to worry a lot because it was explained uh, and it was clearly explained. The only thing missing there uh, in this course was like setting it up to the production. When I used npm run start for the development server for the local host, the paths were a bit different than later in the production, so I had to change the, the paths uh, in routing in order to make it work. But I managed to do it, so it's not a big thing. Next week I won't be vlogging because I will be moving out and changing flats. So uh, I hope to meet with you in two weeks' time. When I come back, I want to work on React challenges from Freecode Camp. And I also want to practice more of vanilla JavaScript because still this is a thing that uh, I want to come back to. Keep on doing, stay motivated, and see you in two weeks' time.